Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. If you're new here, my name is Sophia. It's a new week. It is Saturday 23rd of October and I should have started this vlog on Monday. So we have to make it work somehow. I'm gonna show you what I want to read. This is gonna be a spooky reading vlog. This is going up on... Halloween week, also really close to my birthday, Scorpio baby, here. Uh, so I just wanted to read some horror. And here they are. My first and main priority is Flynnbad Heroines by Emilia M. Dunford. This is a horror, LGBTQ+, really different way of writing book. I'm currently on page 20. I'm already really liking it. Uh, the first chapter is about these two girls that were killed by these swarm of wasps in a really bad accident and that it said in 1902 and I think throughout the book we keep moving forward and seeing the mystery about the wasp and these like boarding school type of thing. It's really interesting, I really like the writing style but it's gonna be a thick in books. I think this is gonna be a slow read so I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to finish throughout this week. I will absolutely love it but we'll see. And then the other book I want to read and I, I left it on purpose for this week and that is Thorn Hero by Pam Smee. This graphic novel was actually recommended by one of you on Instagram and actually I don't know if it can be described as a graphic novel because it has two timelines. One is the drawings and then the other one is the... oops my post-its. <laughs> And then the other one is the pages. So there's like two timelines going up at the same time, but they are like intertwined and the art doesn't have words. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I've read 50 pages in one sitting. It is really good. And I, the art is super creepy as well. And I love that it's black and white. I also wanted to find like a short book that I could finish this week as well. And that is A Diary of Blood. Again, this has a really atypical writing. It's, um, it's like a, a lyrical story about Dracula's, one of Dracula's wife, I think. And then yesterday I read a manga that one of my friends recommended and it's Happiness, uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I finished both of them and it's about this kid that it's, like it's the typical high school kid that is getting bullied and one day like a vampire bites him. Really typical setting, I didn't really like that about it because it it's nothing new. I don't know if I'm gonna continue it because um, I only had the first two volumes but I'll try to find the next ones and probably also go into those. Also I didn't show I didn't show you I have my spider earrings and I also did like more of a spooky makeup I never wear makeup like these but <laughs> I try my best. Hello everyone it is um what day is it? It is Monday the 25th of October and yes, I haven't updated you in the whole weekend but I'm just starting to read today and I'm currently doing some Pomodoro sessions if you know it's like reading for 25 minutes and then stopping for 5 or 10 and then beginning to read and I want to get a lot of reading done. So I did read half of Thornhill so I'm literally in the middle of it. And I'm really enjoying it. Now I can tell you a little bit more about it. We have these two timelines. There's this girl who's just moved to this house. And this house is right across this old building that has been abandoned. And one day she sees this girl in this abandoned house. And she's really cu curious. So she follows her. And then on the other side we have the other timeline. Which is in 1982. And we are reading kind of the diary of this girl called Mary which uh, she is a part of Thornhill, which was this orphanage for girls. And um, I guess is the building right across the house. And she was bullied by the other girls in there. And she had this habit of collecting dolls. She kind of created them. She didn't collect them, she made them. Ella in the present finds one of her creations. And from that, you get on the story. It's really creepy, but I'm adoring it. The way the story is uh, told is really unique. And it's a really fast read as well. I'm really glad I got it. This one with the doll is super creepy. For Plain by Harry's, I haven't read anything yet. I'm gonna start right now. I'm on page 20. Uh, but I wanna make it, whoops, 
That's my Pomodoro. I just cannot tell you more about it right now. I'm so excited. Look at it. It's so pretty. Look at it. Oh my god. And the pages are white. All my journals, the pages are the like cream colored. So good. It has two ribbons as well. Hey, my vlog. Excuse my hair because it's a mess, but we are going to the hairdresser. It's been about three months since I bleached my hair, so it's time to go in. And I'm taking you with me because it's my first time I go there with the car. The hairdresser is in the middle of the city center and it's a pain to drive there. So I'll just take you, if I have time, if they finish early, I might go to some bookstores, see if I find anything I like, but I'm not sure because they normally take forever. Yeah. The outfit of the day, jean jacket, my boots. My head burns. Happy Bean just came out. It's been there like four hours. But it looks amazing and they cut it quite short. So I'm really, really happy. So I just came home. I was in there from 3 p.m. till 8.30 is right now. So it was a long time. As you can see, it's way shorter. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I don't really like how short it is. It's so short. Fuck. I also don't really like how she curl it. So maybe if I do my own type of curls, I like it more. But I really like the color. It's just, mm, I hate how short it is. It's okay, it's okay. My hair grows really fast. It's always like these when I go to the hairdressers. I'm never 100% happy, except last time. Last time, um, a guy cut my hair and it was perfect but it's really short it's okay, it's okay. it is the next day i spent all night crying over how short my hair is i just i could have been like oh no i love it but it's too short and i don't love it a lot of you watching this will be like it's still super long it might how long it was like they cut 10 centimeters which is like these and i didn't ask for it that's the thing like, I didn't ask them to take any length out of my hair. That's why I was mad. But it's really hard because it's the one thing that gives me confidence. It's my hair. Um, so it being gone. It's not gone, but it not being how I like it. It just, I don't know. But it's okay. It's okay. I don't think I showed you because my camera ran out of battery. But um, next week is my birthday. It's the first of November. And I don't really enjoy my birthday. I really like it because normally my friends and I get together, but I don't like it because it's my day. You know how a lot of thing a lot of people made it like it is my day. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I just don't like my birthday. I don't want attention on me. I like giving gifts more than receiving them. That's why I never ask for gifts. Of course, my stubborn ass friends <laughs> Send me your stuff and I'm just super grateful for it. And Christmas came today and it is this little stuff that I've always wanted one and she just knows me too good. And it says from the library of Sophia and it's a book stump uh, to put it on your books. And of course, the first book I stamped was House Moving Castle because this is Christmas and I favorite. So I had to and look at that. It's super cute. I, I I adore this book. This has a really big like sentimental value. Uh, my classes were cancelled for today, so I'm just going to read. Um, a Diary of Blood, which I'm actually really really loving.
Saturday the 13th of October and this is gonna be the final update on this reading blog. <laughs> I just finished Thornhill a few hours ago and I gave it 3.75 stars maybe four it is really good the story gets really creepy at the end which i liked but in the middle it's kind of slow maybe a bit boring um but i did really enjoy reading the story of the girl through her owned diary i cried at one point because it's also a really really sad story about like bullying and having no one and just wanted to have a friend and nothing really works out so it was quite sad but the ending was so creepy i just it pushed it a star up for me so i think 3.75 four stars maybe it's not the best graphic novel out there but it's really good it's really unique then the disappointment of this reading block is plan bad heroines which i i made it till page 40. I saw that the audiobook was available on script and I just decided to read it there because I was not physically reading it um, and I thought the audiobook maybe was easier but I was not focusing. I didn't know what I was listening to. I was so lost that I decided to not DNF it but not continue reading it and maybe wait for another time where I feel like I want to read it more than now because right now I think I want something fast and this is this is not it. This is really not it right now. So we are gonna leave it. It's a gorgeous book, so yes, but it's not the time to read it. No worries, because I found one of my favorite books ever, and that is A Diary of Blood. Five stars, amazing, want to read it again. I've already ordered a physical copy of it. Yes, 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 I was not expecting it from this book. I was so amazed. This was sold to me as a horror gothic retelling of one of the wives of Dracula and it was that and so much more. So you follow this girl which we don't really know her real name but she's kind of dying and like what we assume is Dracula because he doesn't have a name either on the book comes and bites her and turns her into a vampire and it's basically a story about grooming and growing to love something that is so toxic and not being able to see how toxic that relationship or connection between these two people is i really don't know how to explain it because she tells this it's a story about survival and how she got out of that really toxic environment and it's also really powerful the way it's greeting because she's greeting it towards you, she's explaining it towards you but she's also greeting it towards that abusive partner kind of taking the story and making her the survivor of the story if that makes any sense it's so powerful I was so concerned at the beginning the first few pages is like she's falling in love and she sees nothing wrong with it and you're reading it as a reader and you're like this is so wrong because it's a character growth story you see her realizing what's going on and taking matters into her own hands and i adore that ending like the ending was uh, the best i love the vibes i love the quotes i have so many quotes that i want to annotate it when the book comes and i'm probably reading it and i'm probably rereading it on november it was just uh, that good so if you have to read one book from this whole blog a downry of blood, definitely, I think. I'm baking a cake for my birthday, you, you will see on the next blog. And I really hope you enjoy it. Yeah, let me know, let me know in the comments what you have read. If you've read any of these books, if you want to read any of it, what you're dressing up as Halloween. I want to know what you're dressing up as Halloween. I will be a witch and something else, but that something else is a surprise that you will see on Sunday. And yes. <laughs> As always, if you want to keep updated with me, I have a Goodreads where I post my reviews. I also have a bookstagram where I post daily and also an Etsy shop that I will link down below if you want any bookish stuff. I really hope you have an amazing week. I hope you have an amazing Halloween night if you're going out, if you're staying in, reading. Just have the best day you can. And if you're not doing anything special, I'm not doing anything special on Halloween either. So don't worry. Um, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!